Gun fan, what's up? It's the gun brother. Thank you for tuning in. So, lo and behold, hasn't happened in years. Damn, my ass. Anyway, hasn't happened in years. I get pulled over for speeding. Now, I, sh I, I should have recorded it from beginning to end, but that, for some reason, I think recording stuff and people seeing your phone, it just makes things go a different way. So, I'm going to tell you what happened because my point is, well, you'll see the point. So, I'm in, I'm coming around 495 in Maryland, coming from the gym, and this lady was squatting in the passing lane. She was in the left lane. So, we were doing about maybe 65 um but she just would not get out of the way and it was clear to the right so i finally got fed up and went around her and as soon as i went around her we came around the bend state police was sitting right there in the cut i said god i knew i, I was like i know he got me i was the only person to get um and like i said she would have been doing about 65 if that so i went around her I'm flying, and before I even got back over, I was still in the uh, lane two is what I call it. I think it's technically three. But anyway, I'm still in the second lane. She's in the passing lane, and I see the movement in the vehicle. I was like, ah, he's coming. Pause. So I, I'm looking at my rear view, and then he pulls out. I'm like, yeah, I already know. So I start pulling over. So that's first off, I'm not flying down the street. I'm not going to keep going, hoping it's me. I'm not even giving him a chase. So I start pulling over to the right. I see him, he's uh, catching up, catching up, catching up. Uh, and then he finally puts his lights on, fine, pull over. That's number one. I know I was wrong. I, I, and I know he got me. No need to even, I'm not even fighting. So I pull over, roll down my window, grab my license and registration. He walks up, identifies himself, uh, name, Badge number, this is being recorded. Reason I'm being pulled over. Just set it off the break. And that's Maryland State Police. Usually they just give you everything off the top. So he said, uh, I was doing 88 and 55. And I said, Yep, you got me. <laughs> it was like, man, this lady was squatting in the passing in the uh, left lane and I just started pulling around her. And he said, Oh yeah, I said, Yeah. He said, All right, well, you know, it's a nice truck, but uh I'll see what I can do for you. And he walks away, comes back in like two minutes. Just a warning, no points, no issues. Uh, you know, just make sure you slow it down, blah, blah, blah. That's it. All that, where did you record my speed on? Let me see it. Do you? Is it on the radar? Let me see it. I don't have to roll down the window. Where's your supervisor? Man, all that, I don't even understand that shit. Now, don't get me wrong. I know sometimes law enforcement is in the wrong. But if you already, we, we've seen a million cases, including that recent case with uh, 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 Tyreek Hill, even though the law enforcement ended up taking it too far in the beginning, he was wrong. He knows he was speeding. All he had to do was pull over, roll down his window, give his license and registration. He didn't even have to say a word. All I'm saying is, man, it's not called boot leak licking. It's, it's treating people with respect. Just treat, especially somebody that's doing their job, especially when you know you were wrong, just... Treat people with respect, and, and nine times out of ten, man, you get it back. That, that was our whole conversation, and it took, that transaction literally took three minutes. Three and a half minutes. And I, like I said, I, I guess I could have run the phone without him knowing it, but I just, you know, I just didn't feel like recording. And, you know, didn't give him no cop talk, or I didn't say anything special. I didn't even tell him what, that I was armed, which I am. Didn't say I was armed. Um, because Maryland is no duty to inform. If he had asked me, I would have told him, but he didn't ask, so we're all good. And because that's a whole nother that that can be a hassle. But um, so I didn't say I was armed. I didn't do anything special, say anything special, act any any crazy way. He walked up. I told him what happened, what I did. He said, "I'll see what I can do for you." He went back, ran it, came back, gave me a warning. I said, "Man, you get what you give a lot of times, and some of y'all give bullshit to people." After that was all done, then I, you know, told him, I said, yeah, I'm a firearms instructor, uh, got a YouTube channel, all that stuff. I told him that later because I wanted to see what I get a legit result from just acting normal and giving him what he wanted. Um, you can throw down in the comments. I know some of y'all still think differently or believe differently, but, and yes, I am not saying, or no, I am not saying that there aren't crooked officers, that there are crooked people in every profession. You can't assume just because somebody rolls up in law enforcement that they're going to treat you bad. And he was white, just for the record. Um, 
you can't assume somebody's going to treat you badly because your race, social, social, economic uh, place in, in life or anything like that. You can't assume that. Treat people with respect. Nine times out of ten, you get it right back if that person is also good and respectful. So uh, there it is. I'll see you guys in the comments. Gun Brother is out.